proceed with our structured wiring project and home network build, I wanted to go through the main switch, which this is really, this and the coaxial uh, splitter are really the heart of the networks. This is what will give Ethernet networking throughout the house. We've optioned for a TrendNet TEG-S24G. We've got 24 gigabit ports that will operate in full duplex mode. It has a fanless design, rack mountable, it's an energy efficient design, and it, like I said, features 24 gigabit ports. <clears throat> we went with TrendNet for a couple of reasons, not the least of which is prior experience with their products. Um, the features for the price are honestly, I have not been able to find anything that's been able to beat them. So let's go ahead and open this one up. <clears throat> We've got a seal on the back of the box. There we go. There's a seal on each side of the main flap. Quick installation guide in a variety of languages. We have the power cable. A little hard to show you, but there we go. We have the rack mounting tabs, and there's a little bag of screws there along with four rubber feet in case you want to desktop mount this. And there we go. That's the switch itself. Take it out of the anti-static bag. There's the switch. Those mounting tabs will mount over here on the over here on the side. So you get the four screw holes there on each side. So you'll have an L bracket. It'll mount right onto that switch. It has an integrated power supply with an on-off switch, which many many uh, network devices in this price class don't have. You get your diagnostic LEDs for all 24 which gives you a link and activity light and you also have it'll indicate if it grows glows green it's 100 meg if it grows amber it's gig okay that's the quick unboxing of the trendnet teg s24 g this should be straightforward and obvious but I've actually been asked by several people, how do you attach the rack mount kit to a switch? They're not 100% universal, but they're all pretty close. You'll have your rack mount brackets. And on this model, they're simple bent piece of steel. You've got the holes that'll attach it to the rack and the holes that attach it to the switch. And simple Phillips head flathead screws. You've got your one, two, three, four mount holes that overlay thusly. Get started by hand.
run the screw in all the way, repeat the process for the other three. on this side. Now we flip it around, repeat the process on the other side. I was holding the switch up just so you could get a clearer view of it, but let me show you an easier way to do this. Simply line up the bracket to the face. The screw holes should, in theory, line up. screws. Load a screw onto the screwdriver. See how simple that was? Just load and go, load and go, load and go. You may notice that I, when I start a screw, I turn the screwdriver or wrench or whatever counter to the actual direction of tightening. So if it's a normal screw, I turn the screwdriver left first before I turn it right. That way I'm feeling for where the ends of the threads are so I can ensure clean thread engagement and not cross thread my screws. I don't necessarily know how to explain that particular skill that I developed over the years, but it certainly helps me out a lot. I haven't cross threaded a screw in, wow. Um, Easily 20 years. Okay, that's it. We're done. Now, we can mount this to the rack. <laughs>